Hi there, everybody. I'm your host, Charlene Shirk. Welcome to Advertising Champions, where we speak to some of the most innovative thinkers in the advertising space. And joining us far out west in Orange County, California, is Jeff Fulkerson with Fro Bro Web Technologies. And Jeff, the hair does not disappoint when I introduce you as Fro Bro. Thanks for joining us today. Sure thing. Thanks for having me, Charlene. Oh, we're excited. So let's talk about what you do at Frobro Web Technologies because I've gone to your site and for being a web design site, it's one of the coolest sites and looks like it's a lot of fun over there. Yeah, uh, we like to have fun, but we also like to make sure that there's a good mix of uh, professionalism, right? Because uh, so many business websites out there are boring. So I think we can keep things looking sharp while also letting our personality shine through. And so are most clients coming to you that they don't have a site at all? Because believe it or not, there are some people out there still going, do I really need a site? Or are they coming to you because their site has become stale? Most of them are coming because their site is stale. Uh, I have had a couple who didn't have a site, but usually it's just one that they created years ago and they never gave it a second thought. Uh, So we spruce it up, make it look nice and new, and also make it more functional for their business. Because a website shouldn't be something that just sits there and nobody ever sees it should be something that you're using to actually uh, grow your business or serve your customers in a better way. And tell us how you help a website do that. Uh, Well, obviously there's the user experience, how it looks, how uh, the navigation, can a user find the things that they need, the buttons that they want, uh, if there's documents to download, anything like that. But there's also the functionality piece. It needs to load quickly, needs to work on any size screen, uh, mobile device, uh, and all of those things factor into it. Uh, You want to make sure it's ranked on Google so people can find it. So there's multiple layers. And when we build a site, we actually go through these things one by one. Design, messaging, SEO, functional bits, the optimization to make sure that uh, all of these pieces are addressed. And when you you have a client sitting down there, at the end of the day, you can do all those things, but you still need content for the site, right? And that seems to be kind of the choke point for so many people is that the, what do I put on the site? How do I make it engaging? How do I make it entertaining so that people will read more and, and navigate my site a little bit better? What are the advice that you have to folks? Because you could, exactly what you said, look, we can make it all the bells and whistles and fancy and do all the latest technology, but if the content isn't convincing, the people will not stay on the site and won't navigate. What, what's your advice for that? Well, there's a couple different types of content that you kind of referenced there. So if, if you want someone to do something, that's more of a sales copy, right? You need to help explain why someone should be moving towards a certain action, whether that's scheduling an appointment or putting in their email to download something. Uh, but then there's the blog articles, which are more informative, that share information that Uh, help that visitor, but they also let that visitor know that you are an authority on the subject so that uh, if they need help with that thing, they'll want to hire you. Um, And that content can be planned out. You can make content strategy and uh, look at keywords that are out there that people are searching for actively. And then you can write content that answers those questions for things that people are looking for resources for. And that way uh, you build up your content that's relevant, that people actually want to read, and that actually builds up your authority and helps the people that are coming to your site. And of those things, what do you think is the most, what are the most effective advertising tactics? Well, I view advertising as, uh, getting in front of someone, right. Grabbing their attention. So if you want to uh, advertise your site, you have to do that outside of your site, right? So either on someone else's site or in a Facebook group uh, or when someone's searching on Google. And of course, there's all the traditional advertising as well, billboards and radio ads and such. I think a lot of it depends on who your target audience is because the best thing to do is go where they are and get in front of them at that point. Uh, Because if you're trying to sell uh, something to kids and you're only running ads on the radio, there's not as many kids listening to the radio, unless it may be a kid's radio station like Disney radio or something like that. So you need to know where your audience is and then choose the type of ad that you're running based on that. And then I'm going to wrap up, but I have 30 seconds. Tell me what's your best tip when it comes to marketing your website or what you should have on your website. If I corner you at a cocktail party, Jeff, and I'm like, what's the number one tip you can give me about my website to improve it? What would it be? I'd say the tip is don't stop improving it. 
Uh, it's never really done. Um, you need to be intentional and think through what you want your website to do for you. Because if it's just there as a checkbox on your list, like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to have a website for my business, then it's not going to help you. But if you think about what you want it to do, is it turning people into customers? Is it better serving your current customers? Because then you can start iterating, improving things little by little. And over time, you're going to have a great website. All right. Well, Jeff, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate your insight on advertising champions. Sure thing. Thanks again for having me. Oh, it's our pleasure. And if you'd like to learn more about what they're doing over there at Fro Bro Web Technologies, you've got to check out their site. It's pretty cool. Start by going to dailyadbrief.com. Where else? Well, I'm your host, Charlene Turk. Thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Advertising Champions. Simplify presents Addressable CTV. Combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.